Well, finding ways to make schools safer is a top priority in districts across Colorado and all over the country. Now, a Douglas County student has a new invention to help make schools in the district a little more secure. Connor McHugh visited the 3D printing lab at Mountain Vista High School to learn more. At schools these days, most doors remain locked for good reason, but in emergency situations, that can make it harder for first responders to get inside. This tool, created by a student here, aims to solve that problem. At Mountain Vista High School, the STEM lab is where problems go to get solved. And this semester, Nick DiMercurio has been singularly focused. It's probably a little bit less strong than this one is. For months now, the senior has been fine-tuning this tool meant to help student resource officer Jeff Sislow if there's ever an emergency. It's important to us to be able to get through doors quickly. And in one of our trainings, we had a door shut behind the other deputy, and the other guys could not get in to support them. So that's how this kind of idea developed. Earlier this year, Sislow brought that predicament to teacher Kent Allison, who shared it with his capstone class. Within hours, Nick ran with it. This was the first one. Weeks later, he had this final 3D printed version called the Pop Block. It's handheld and allows officers to prop open any locked door in the rare time that's needed. I've been through all the um, lockdown drills and I've seen all the stuff that's transpired around, especially recently. It's something that I made that's going to help keep people safe. Officer Sislo now carries the tool every day and has already used it for a medical situation. The sheriff's office has also bought more than 100 of them for other SROs. This gives us the ability to get to that threat quicker. While he graduates next week, Nick's work isn't over. Moving forward, he hopes to make more tools to keep students like him safe. If they think it's going to help keep people safe in schools, I can make that to provide um, just some help with safety. One of those tools Nick is working on right now is actually the opposite of this, something to keep doors wedged shut. He'll continue working on that this summer and then in the fall at Wichita State University. In Highlands Ranch, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Something tells me Nick has a very bright future. Now, Connor grew up in Douglas County and wants to know what's going on there so he can report on the stories that matter to you. You can get in touch with him by calling our tips line 303-863-TIPS or through our website, cbscolorado.com.